Yo, welcome to Hot Takes with Chatter Chats, where there's no handholder. We deal with facts, not emotion. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I have a question. I have a question. Follow me on Twitter. You've seen me pose this question a couple of times, and I've gotten uh, mixed responses. Did the Pelicans fail Jackson Hayes? Right? When you look at Jackson Hayes on the floor, the man's clearly an elite talent. I'm saying supreme athleticism, you know, just incredible. He's box office. The man is box office. I just wonder, had he been drafted to a different organization, organization that had more things in place to develop such a raw player, would he have turned out better? Jack, if Jackson Hayes goes to the Toronto Raptors, is Jackson Hayes a better player today? If Jackson Hayes goes to I don't know, maybe the Spurs or Golden State. Is he a better player today? I really would like to know that because, I mean, many of you have heard my thoughts on uh, Dyson Daniels' uh, draft. And my issue with the pick wasn't necessarily Dyson Daniels. It was more so I feel like you have to go for the highest upside guy. Even if that guy is raw, you go for the highest upside guy because, like I've said before, you know, you're not going to get many superstars here via free agency is going to be via draft and uh trade by trade right so with dyson downs respect it just felt so safe to me it just felt very very safe especially for the lottery because hopefully the pelicans aren't picking in the lottery not with their own pick you know in the future hopefully is the lagos pick in the lottery and the milwaukee pick in the lottery that's what i'm hoping right but the pick felt so safe and I wonder if they went with a safe pick because of Jackson Hayes. When you look at a guy like that, I, I just wonder if the coaching staff in the front office is hesitant to take another raw player. We got to remember, Jackson Hayes has only been playing organized basketball roughly four years. That's it. That's it. And in my opinion, Jackson Hayes with a, a decent point guard is an, an easy double double guy he's a guy who's you know his offense drives his uh defense and rebounding like he's, he's a guy who needs his touches pause to get himself going pause right so i just wonder with all the obstacles that have been in jackson hayes's way some the pelicans some not the pelicans some jackson hayes pardon my ring did the organization do everything to put Jackson Hayes in a position to succeed? Did he do everything to put himself in a position to succeed, right? When you look at when Jackson Hayes was drafted, um, of course, we didn't have, you know, we had Gentry at the helm, you know, shout out to Gentry. Coach, you know, coach, he, he's a good guy, but he's not necessarily known for developing great players, right? Um we still had a shaky front office situation. We're coming off of um, the AD trade. So, you know, AD didn't get traded because shit was going great. He got traded because shit was rough. You know what I'm saying? We just got Griffin. He was trying to right the ship. And things going off, you know, Zion looking good. Everything's cool. And what was supposed to hopefully be a, a red shirt year for Jax turned into him actually having to play. And then COVID happens, right? COVID happens. So throws a monkey wrench into a guy's rookie year who already didn't have a ton of playing experience, right? Following year, no fans in the stands, no training camp. Got Stan Van Gundy at the helm. A lot of the players didn't mesh well with him. No practices. It, it was just it was just a shitty year across the board. Guys are still concerned about their families. They're not thinking about basketball. And, you know, they're waking up five six in the morning to get tested they can't really interact with one another it was just a terrible year across the board i think stan actually gets too much credit for players being unhappy versus the circumstances that you know they all were facing including stan then you have this year you know jackson starts the year off slow again and things just don't go his way until he switched to the power forward position and he looks incredible in spurts but there's still some things to be left to be desired as far as rebounding defense you know Jax, when he's good, he looks amazing. But when he's bad, he can be unplayable sometimes. And that's just, you know, that's terrible. But that's the, you know, that's these are the facts. But um honestly, I I'm sure the organization made everything that was available to Jax available. And the player has to want it for himself. 
But I do think a part of me does think that the organization didn't necessarily have the foundation in place to nurture a young, raw talent like a Jackson Hayes. If you look at the guys who have succeeded with the Pelicans, most of those guys were, you know, semi established guys. B.I. had been in the league already. Zion was just already a great college player. Um, Herb, great college player. Jose, really good college player. Trey, really good college player. These are guys who had been playing the sport for years versus Jackson, who just kind of came into the sport pause. So I don't know what's going to happen with Jax, but I do believe that Jax has, still has the potential to be a Pascal Siakam type guy. I think Jax has all world potential. And if he goes to another organization and becomes an incredible player, I wouldn't be shocked. I'll be sad, but I wouldn't be shocked. So it's been today's show. Please, you know, leave y'all answers in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think I'm wrong? Y'all agree with me? You know, is it somewhere in between? You know, let me know. That's been today's show. Holla at me. One.